Intraoral radiographs are much essential to make a clear diagnosis with the information it provides and it can be classified as periapical radiographs which show all of teeth with surrounding bone and bite wing radiographs show only crown of teeth and adjacent alveolar crests and occlusal radiograph shows an area of teeth and bone similar but larger than periapical radiographs. In this video, let's see about two projection techniques commonly used for periapical radiography. Paralleling technique otherwise called as right angle or long cone technique. The image receptor is placed parallel to long axis of tooth. X-ray source should be kept relatively distant from tooth as it reduces focal spot size hence increases image sharpness. The central ray of beam is directed at right angles to the tooth and receptor. This position of receptor, tooth and X-ray beam presents radiographic image with tooth and bone in their true anatomical relationship. This method works well with all the image receptors equally. Now coming to bisecting angle technique. It was often used earlier and greatly replaced by paralleling technique. Now it may be used in case of large rigid sensors which the operator finds difficult to place or because of any anatomical difficulties in patient. This technique is based on Siezensky's rule of isometry, a simple geometric theorem. According to it, two triangles are equal when they share one complete side and have two equal angles. Let's see how it applies here in this technique. The receptor is positioned so closely to the lingual surface of tooth that is either in the palate or in the floor of the mouth. The plane of receptor on long axis of tooth forms an angle with its apex at a point where the receptor is in contact with the tooth along an imaginary line that bisects this angle and central ray of beam is directed at right angles to this bisector. So we can achieve two triangles with equal angles and a common side. On acquiring these positions, the image cast on receptor is of same length as the object. The major disadvantages of this technique are, in the case of multi-rooted tooth, central beam have to be directed at different angle for each root. Then, the alveolar ridge presents more coronally than actual position thus misleading the height of alveolar bone around the tooth. Thanks for watching. Hope you will like my video. Please share, subscribe and comment.